three things. So the first thing is to put on a discovery exploratory hat. And what I mean by that is really start to become aware of when you're picking your cuticles. Is it when you're feeling anxious or has it turned into something that's just kind of a habit? I say that because oftentimes when we do something for extended periods of time, next thing you know, we don't even really have to be thinking about it. The same way that we might be using like or um as filler words in conversation, we might find that we're kind of picking our cuticles or picking our nails or biting our fingernails just kind of out of habit because our body's so used to that response. So in that space of discovery and exploration, you can really start to say, hey, am I feeling anxious right now? If so, what am I feeling anxious about? If you're able to clearly define what is kicking off your anxiety, then you can start to really get to the root cause of what's making you feel anxious and start to create some new responses to old rules like picking your cuticles. For example, I, to get, I tend to get a little restless and when I'm feeling restless, I get anxious. That's when my foot starts to tap and I might start like rubbing my hands as well. And it's in that space of saying, hey, when I feel restless, I feel anxious. How can I start to create some healthy coping mechanisms to process my restlessness? So that's tip number one. Tip number two is going to be just to maybe rub your cuticles instead. It's going to be really difficult to try and do anything else because that part of your brain that's used to picking your cuticles, that part of your brain's like a highway. The cars, the neurons are going a thousand miles per minute. And so what we want to do is we want to start putting speed bumps on that pathway. If we try and ask your car, those parts of your brain, to go down a completely different pathway or a highway, it's going to feel a little confused and it's going to be a little wonky. But if you're, hey, I know we're on this pathway anxiety, I know we're on this pathway of this behavioral pattern, let's just put a speed bump. So let's rub our cuticles instead. It's similar enough, it's close enough that it's not gonna trigger the body into being like, what am I doing? Absolutely enamored. And so the third thing that I wanna share with you, schedule a check-in with yourself. Make that commitment. Hey, I'm gonna put on my discovery hat and check in and see when I'm doing this, what's causing my anxiety. I'm gonna rub my fingers instead for five days. After five days, I'm gonna set an alarm on my phone, I'm gonna go on a self-date, whatever it is, and just check in with myself and give myself grace with whatever happens. The power of that check-in is your brain goes, hey, she's gonna check in with us in five days, so I need to make sure that I'm doing things, that I'm staying up to date, that I'm taking accountability, and I'm doing these actions. The brain, whenever we've got something scheduled, the brain, that subconscious part, is gonna kick off. And just remember to give yourself grace. When we're starting new things, it can be easy for that inner critic and the ruminating thought patterns to come up when we fail. So be patient with yourself. You're changing a pattern. It's going to take time. And you've got this. I'm rooting for you. And anybody else have questions, let me know. I'm here for it all. I've got your back. I'm Des.